Hello fellow gamers, welcome back to Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made our way down here to the Thousand Year Door, and we're gonna finally read Goombella's text, and you waited a whole day to see it. Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? Well, let's just stand on the pedestal. Like, pedestals are made for standing on. Whoa, trippy effects, and Goombella and frankly teleported somehow. Professor, what's going on? The room is spinning, and you can tell us that the whole room is rendered in full 3D. It's really cool. And cool effect on the screen. The location of the crystal star has been recorded to your magical map, and Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Each time you get a crystal star, you'll learn a new special move. Professor, the map! Move with all those crazy lights. If it appears that the information related to the location of the crystal star has appeared, the shining light looks as if the mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Hmm, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? My dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it, well, something like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Nah. This is very important. <laughs> nah. Alright then, I'll explain it in a sec. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. I'll tell you the truth, I've always thought that the place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come from... did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anyone know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the sea there's a pipe to Petal Meadows. If they could just find it... Uh, if you can just find that, you get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mara, I'm curious. Where'd you get that map, anyway? From Princess Peach. Really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach. This wouldn't be her, wouldn't it? Yeah. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the Crystal Stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows you go. I can't say Petal Meadows. It keeps saying, like... I keep thinking, like, Petal Metals or something. Anyway. Okay. So if you stop talking, I'll explain the way that the thing works. I have to get into a battle to show them. Wait just a moment. Oh, yes. We completely forgot. This game is all... We've got badges as well. No thanks. I know how to do badges. We played the first game and we know how FP works. Shut up. Technically, we could have used FP beforehand, but still. We only have one badge, so we'll give that power smash. Yeah, it's power smash instead of power jump. I know. Or the powered... Powered... What was it? Power stomp badge. That was what it was in the first game. Okay, where you're going to want to go is come over here. And I know I can take the, that, but I just want to get into a quick fight first. Now I'm not gonna act- okay, I can't kill this one, because he has two with him. Now this is when the stylish points come into play. Now I know my little stat thing kind of blocks it, but in- I'm gonna put it away for a second. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see a little thing. It's got the audience number in it. There's an audience, and the audience is what gives you star power. If I were to use a star move, which we only have one, which is 
retreat, which takes one star point, which is all we have. The only way you can get it back is by completing action commands. Yes, you actually have to do all your action commands to get more star points, or star power, I guess. And, if you do stylish commands, you'll actually get more, and that's the reason why you do stylish commands. Yes, there is a focus as well, but it's called... It's called, like, Spotlight or something. A power punch is shortly increases your attack. Anyway, so that explains the star power. I'll actually show you later when I actually use it. Anyway, we're gonna come over here. And, uh, oh, you know what sewers have. Sewers have these! Bloop, bloop! Ouch, that hurt. Whoa! And now you see what I was kind of saying with the whole, like, it's still made of paper, but it's kind of made to look 3D. It's kind of like, almost like folded paper. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would it look like it's some saucy mustache guy? Bloopity, bloop, bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Pinky told us, right? You can use us to change our position by pressing Y. I know what he wants us to do. This, his stats are on the screen right now. I'm not going to title because you now have his stats. Um, I'm going to use Fire Flower though because his tentacles only have three health each, so. Or less than that, I don't remember exactly. That's enough to get rid of his tentacles, I know that. Then once he's down, you can use Headbonk with. She kind of made you want to switch so that we could use, um. So that we could use your tattle saying, so hey, look, I can get its health for you, and I'm like, I don't really want to. Yay, look at all the stylish points, and the more people you have in your audience, the better it is, but obviously, although I may be blocking it on the screen, you guys can obviously see how many are in there, because you can see the actual audience, which is something that's really cool. The audience comes into play a little bit more later in fights, they start doing some other trippy stuff. And there we go, we've already defeated the first boss in the game. And we still haven't even leveled up yet. Oh, I completely forgot about that thing in the top right corner, but I'll explain that whenever I have to do it. Blah. Bloop. Oh, wow. You have the ability to hide these, I guess. Stop falling in there, Goombella. And here we are. We are here at the pipe that will lead to the first chapter. And I know this is a very short episode. I'm very sorry. But I really couldn't find any other way. There's nothing else I can really do this episode, to be honest. I'm trying to think. No, there, is, there isn't really anything else I can show you this episode. So I guess I'm going to have to wait until next time. Next time on Paper Mario, we'll be starting Chapter 1. Oh, I did it. Oh, I was awesome. And so we're going to be starting Chapter 1, which is the, well, obviously the first chapter in the game. And it's really awesome. I like the first chapter in this game. It's very reminiscent of the first chapter in Paper Mario. And I'll see you guys next time.